<laughs> oh god all right um i learned something this morning a.m and p.m make big differences in alarms so i just woke up a little bit ago it's 8 30 i totally missed cars and coffee but there's an m3 for you e93 with the top up and there's an audi s8 or something like that yeah, so that sucks, but I also went to bed at 3.50 in the morning, so uh, I probably wouldn't have done too well getting up at at uh, 7.30 or 7.45 like I planned to. And there's a E39 5 Series, but I am going to stop downtown and get gas because when I stopped last night, they were closed. They closed at like 9 o'clock in Hudson because everybody packs up and goes to bed in Hudson at 9 o'clock because they're all a bunch of East Coast hillbillies. Well, whatever you call it. So it's, it's actually pretty nice. It's 65 degrees and there are tons of people out and around town, which is cool. So uh, I'm going to get my gas and then go to the grandparents' house and we'll probably do some outside work today. And uh, I will try to film something for you. can -Ams at Fisher's. Look familiar, Alex? Good memories. I prefer cars and coffee myself. There's a lot of plastic right there. Okay, well you saw lunch and you saw dinner. In between, we spent three hours in their landscaping, pulling all the, all the leaves out from the bushes, um, trimming some of the yard that he didn't get to this week, and then putting mulch down so my knees and back are going to hurt again. Anyways, I am now home. I came home to get power from my phone because it's a piece of shit. The restore did nothing and I've gone through two charges already today. Way to go, Apple and the iPhone. Anyhow, here's what's on my desk when I get home. I got one, two, three, if you count that, four and five packages. So I'm going to open those up and then go back downtown because it's still beautiful. 72 and a little hazy up there, but not too bad, not too bad. And we'll see if we see any nice cars again. Well, guys, we got the awesome hearse here. This one's a furred with aluminum furl on the back. For the alum. Perfect condition wheels. Look at that. Oh man. Doing some fishing. It doesn't get much better than this. And the hood matches perfectly. It's a big car. And you think the Impala's big. Yeah. Honk tonk. Honky tonk. There's the honk title of today's vlog. We are up here sightseeing. Here comes a an engine with uh, Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, he's carrying a lot of equipment. Oh yeah. All this tractors. That's a lot of tractors. Freaking rates it is. That's as close as I'm getting. I'm feeling wind off it. That is so heavy. There's a lot of weight right here. You can actually see that the, the uh, rails low. Alright guys, check out what parked next to me. Another Mustang convertible. It's got the historic plates on it. Ooh, classic. He's got a, an extra gauge on there too. Very thin wheel. Something fancy. 289 under the hood again. I like that. It does look better in red, I think though. Well we have this thing, Volkswagen. I actually noticed that before the Z3M, which is here and uh, a little girly, but I feel like I know somebody who has one of those. So, uh, sorry if you're watching. There goes the Mustang. Not, not if I hope he would go right. It looks like he's going left. Let's see what he's going to do. I want to hear it. It's the 289 with the stock exhaust. I don't know what that sounds like. I'll hide behind this pole. It's Saturday night, man. Yeah, and we'll come and get you. Boom. We're downtown already, so... No, just out for a cruise. The 
city of Hudson, getting ready to go to sleep. I'll, I'll be honest, that's a really beautiful sunset. It doesn't have the Pacific backdrop, it, it has a musty train yard, but that, that's really nice. Even Razvan's taking pictures of it. Freaking right. Oh yeah. Look where we just put ourselves. At Stokent Lanes. He's going down, he's gonna get some. Not bad. He's doing all right, how you doing? Good, good. All right, you're next. Alex, Alex, explain to us why you're so tired. My bike's 50 miles. 50 mile bike ride today on a carbon fiber bike. bike. Really nice bike, I should have filmed it in this house. Hey, he's doing pretty well though. Yeah. You're doing well for 50 miles today? That's a hard day. I'm broken. I'll try and do it while I'm pulling. <laughs> no, I'm gonna vlog while I'm pulling. What? Okay. I wasn't even looking at the lights. Are you kidding me? No. Is it still your turn? Oh yeah, it is. Take this. <laughs> How many times? She's just gonna go straight down the center board after not trying. Exactly. I don't. It's my turn now. Not, not. Oh yeah. I think you got messed up. Move. I don't know. All right, it's in. What? It's in the box. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Well, that is the last frame on the last game. We all just totally blew chunks on this. I got 115. Alex, you beat me with 116. Congratulations. And Roz at 82. Well, we had fun and that's what matters. Home now and it is still beautiful. About 65 degrees. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Out here on the porch, just talked to Colt for a little bit. Um, he got home from work. So today was pretty awesome too. We got downtown, it was another beautiful day. Did a lot of work, so that satisfies the productivity. It sucks that I missed the cars and coffee today. Joe, I'm so sorry I missed that. Uh, the whole AM, PM thing, yeah, it makes a monumental difference. But take my word for it. If it isn't pouring or 30 degrees, I'll be there next Saturday, or a week from next Saturday for that. So that's to look forward to in the future. Anyways, tomorrow, Sunday, technically today, I would like to get some work done around here supposed to be another good day, so I'll probably keep working landscaping-wise on the left side of the front door. I may even get that whole thing done if I'm feeling productive. I also have a lot more windows to wash and more screens to put in, so that should keep me busy for tomorrow. Exciting day in flying, but uh, getting stuff done always feels good. So I'm going to wrap this up here. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on Sunday. Thanks for watching.